We create opportunities for the community to learn about and celebrate and restore heritage buildings. We um, educate, we have programs, we have walking tours, so we create a lot of opportunities for people to get involved. So I wish that was true, that when you put a plaque on a building it meant it was saved. Actually, it can still be demolished. No, we do, we do not have protection for our heritage in Vancouver. But is that different than in other major cities? Somewhat, but uh, you know, we, we can put a building on the heritage register, but if the owner wants to tear it down, in the end, they can. You battled a fight to get it on the registry, and then you got a battle and fight to make sure that it stays standing. We don't use the words battle and fight. We, we use cooperate and work as a community, because we find that's much more effective. Why? Well, we like to talk to people early on in the process so that uh, we can work with them to actually save the building. Once it gets to City Hall and they want to demolish it, it's kind of late for us to get involved. So we reach out to developers and owners and work with them uh, to be able to save the building early on. Well, sometimes we help them to get through the city process because that can be pretty onerous for an, an owner or a developer. We often find people want to save the building and the process prohibits it. We prefer to save the whole building, but often the building is crumbling. There was a building in Gastown that was propped up. The facade was all that was left. So in that case, you know, it's, it's a much better solution than getting rid of the facade because you still have the streetscape. So, for instance, right now at the corner of Robson and Granville Street, there was a building that was built here in the 1880s, mm -hmm. and we're talking at the crossroads of mm -hmm. pretty much Vancouver in terms of that, and uh, it was brought down uh, just over the last four months, and they left the facade up. Is that something that uh, the developers decided to do on their own? Is it something that the city decided that, you know, that said they had to do? And are you guys involved in helping create that kind of atmosphere of development in the city that even if you weren't involved in that project, uh, there's process and that's happened now that saves those facades. Well, the city does offer incentives for owners to save facades. It might be increased density. They do have facade grants for buildings in Gastown. So there, so there are incentives to save the facades, yeah.